All right, let's let's take a look at um, the markets here this morning. So we went over how to match up these two charts uh, in the trading room. We've actually got a short running right now. So we have a momentum short going on right now on the market. Sal, good job on your targets uh, here on this setup. Uh, you guys have been doing a very, very good job of matching this up and doing very well. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to look for grabbing, looking for the market to get the counter trend traders out of the market. It's called a liquidity grab. That's what's called a stop hunt, and then continue the trend to the downside. So we have a trade running uh, live right now in the market going into news. It's around 8.19 in the morning. So what you want to see is you want to see the trend first. The trend has been down all morning, you can tell. We've been red trend down going into last night and this morning. You can see our red zone indicator. Zone indicator has been down all morning. So we've been looking for only shorts since yesterday, since uh, 6 p.m., actually 4 p.m. yesterday. 4 p.m. yesterday, right now it's 8 o'clock in the morning, 8.19 in the morning. So if your zone trend is down, what we want to do is try to find when the market is trying to grab liquidity, grab liquidity, and try to break market structure. So they're trying to grab liquidity and then grab market structure. Okay? That's what we're trying to do. Okay? So, Sal, what price did you get uh, filled at on this short? Very nice short this morning with zone trend. If you look at it, our trend is lower. So we're looking for short. So we used two of these charts play off of. Nice, nice trade, man. Great job. So I have two charts set up beside each other. This is our trend chart, and this is our liquidity grab ZB chart, or zone break chart. So we're going to look for liquidity grabs on this chart to match up with our zone breaks momentum on the other chart. Liquidity grab. which is our LG combo with market structure break, which is a zone break. So this is our SIM scalper that we put on our specific Rinko chart that you members have. I, I send out a members only uh, email to you guys. I just sent on one out yesterday again so you guys understand this. So when I send these members uh, emails out, I put members only. You guys only receive them. There are members in the room on specific Rinko sizes to use, what we use in the room, et cetera. And this is our liquidity grab zone break chart. What the market likes to do, the market likes to be very orderly. And what it will do, it will try to grab liquidity and try to get the counter trend traders out of the market. There are thousands and thousands of indicators and oscillators out there. Majority of them will try to buy low and sell high. Well, we don't want to do that because that's what the public likes to do. They like to buy low, sell high, and they get run over by the market, typically because they are counter trend trading the market. What we try to do with the algorithm is we want to short low here, just like Sal got short here. Good job, Sal. At 54 and a half, right there, 54 and a half. And it's running right now to 51 so far. Because what he identified was a liquidity grab, taking the counter trend traders out with a zone break that's breaking market structure at that level. There's your entry. That is your, that's your sell. The market's grabbing liquidity, bringing it up, only to continue it to the downside. 
because if you are a big institution, bank, hedge fund, prop firm, you can't sell a ton of contracts all at the same time. You must grab liquidity to bring it lower. So the trend's been down. You can tell over here the trend's been down since 4 o'clock last night, our trend filter. It's been back tested over 30 years. So what we want to do is we want to look at our liquidity grab zone break combination and find the breaking point in the market. The breaking point in the market will be when they grab liquidity away from the counter trend traders. And then they break market structure, meaning they broke a previous support low or previous support high. That's when these yellow candles will come up. This is our SIM scalper indicator that will, you will insert members on your chart I have in the live room. So what you're doing is you're using the combination of trend. So you got the trend right, and then you're looking for liquidity grabs with the combination of my automated zone breaks. It's a fire in the room. when these key levels are broken. Okay, that is key. You will see at the time, you'll see this green bar ticking right now. See how the green bar is ticking right now? They're trying to grab liquidity again. They're ticking it up. They're trying to take the counter trend traders out of the market. So you're going to know it's confirmed with a liquidity grab. Nice job, Sal. Third target hit. Good job. You're going to see when they're grabbing liquidity right now, but it won't be confirmed liquidity until what? Until it closes back red. That will be your entry signal if it closes back red, and then you get a yellow candle to fire in the trade. Because right now, they are trying to grab all these counter trend traders, take them out of the market. This is called what, what's called a stop hunt. This is what keeps the market orderly every single day on every single market. They will find a trend in the market, which is our zone filter, and then they will grab liquidity by reversing the trend, only continue it when it closes back red. They try to do it again. If this closes back red again, they just grab liquidity and took all those counter trend traders out of the market. So you can see what they did. They did a stop hunt again. There they did it again. Stop hunt. Look how they took all those oscillators and indicators out of the market. 49.50 all the way up to 52. They stop hunted them. They took them all out of the market. Well, we're smarter than that. We're more educated than that. We know they're grabbing liquidity. They're taking these counters out of the market just to resume overall trend. Now, we can use this chart over here to guide us with trend. So you can look for these V top, V bottoms. So we know our trend filter is this parallel filter. These are setups when these bars turn yellow with trend. Here, here, here. These are all cells. And here, now what you can do, this is my 120.20 in the trading room. If this oscillator is pegged at one, negative 123.81, which it is, at 809, these are momentum cells. So this is my V top. If you get a if you get a candle reversal, a hammer within three candles, one, two, three, it turns yellow. That's a V top. We go over that in the room. But these are momentum indicators right here, momentum trades. So at 11, 11, 8, 11, 14, when it matches up, when it matches up on this one, I'm sorry, right here matches up or right here it matches up at 823 <clears throat> you can see the 823 liquidity grab right here sorry right there so 823 liquidity grab with my zone break match exactly up with my momentum short where the momentum is super strong to the downside so when you get this match and these fire with zone trend, and you get a liquidity grab, look how they match up. Liquidity grab, liquidity grab, 
liquidity grab, liquidity grab. You can confirm the momentum of the market when I get these zone break candles that fire up, fire off with the liquidity grab chart. They work together. So that is liquidity grab trading with breaking market structure for entry. And these automatically come up to fire for your entry. Okay, so that's how we use both of these charts. Now market profile, we're in a downtrend right now. So we're going into the news as a downtrend. So we'll look for zone shorts only as of right now. We'll continue that with the liquidity grab and zone break combo. Okay. 